guys think are the Angels top three needs that they have to fill after the lockout? They still need pitching. They need relief pitching and starting pitching. So those would be the first two needs in my book. Um, I don't feel like they need an ace or not a superstar in a pitcher. I feel like they need a good, a good rotation, a good guy who's going to get a lot of innings, get a couple wins. Um, Carlos Rendon's been late. Um, I like it if it's a three-year deal. I don't like it any longer than that. Um, if they get someone in trade, awesome. Um, obviously, relief pitchers, we always need relief pitching. And then for the third, middle infield. Uh, I don't think we need anything like Correa, but something just to, just to keep the spot warm and get these other young players they have some time in there to see how they turn out. Um. So me, the first thing what I would do – who is get rid of Otani? Like he's trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> nah. Um, okay, so first thing is you I sign didn't an think outfielder. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> you sign a, uh, an outfielder, um, whether that be Suzuki or Castellanos, like we were talking about in the last episode. Um, that gives us the opportunity to trade some of the younger guys, get a pitcher. Number two, we need a starting pitcher because somebody at the top of the rotation. I say Kershaw, or if he wants to come here, I'm not sure if he wants to come here. He might hate it here. <laughs> or uh Carlos you guys smell <laughs> we smell <laughs> weird or our Carlos Rodon like you were talking about that I know there's a lot of trade rumors with that one um, I'll take him at the top of the rotation finally the third thing and you guys might think I'm crazy but we got to figure out whatever we can do to unload Justin Upton's contract and I think that's a big reason why we haven't signed Otani to an extension because it's taking up a lot of cap space and people don't realize, but this guy's making 28 million this upcoming season. It's his last season too. So yeah. they, they're going to be eating. How much do you think they'll eat in a trade? Okay. So I think you can, you could unload that contract. If you get rid of like one of these pitching prospects, we recently drafted one or two, like we got to sacrifice, but just to get them off the team. Cause I kind of think that he is like a, a big part of the culture right now, like in our lock, in our, um, in our, what, the clubhouse, like for some reason, he's like lazy dude. And ever since we signed him, he's been like a, like a disappointment. Uh, I would definitely say for you guys, yeah. Pitching, pitching is number one. Um, Rondon is very, very interesting, but also I feel like you guys are going to be into the trade market. So I would look at, um, again, I'm just throwing this out there cause no one's thinking about him. But Minnesota has a very interesting uh, team right now. Are they going to compete next year? Probably not. So I feel like they're kind of at a position where they're kind of in like that half rebuild, half forget. We're kind of in it still mode. So I feel like someone like a Kenta Maeda might be available. If I'm the Angels, I'm I'm looking at Kenta Maeda as someone who can eat innings. He can be a top of the rotation pitcher. He's a big game pitcher because he's proven it in the playoffs. I would look at someone like that for trade. Right now, you just need decent to a number two, number three starter to get you guys to the All-Star break. If you guys are above 500 at the All-Star break, I guarantee there'll be a bunch of teams who are going to be like, you know what? Hey, especially, I should say, this is barring that the playoff structure doesn't change. If it changes, it might be a little harder. But if it doesn't change, there will probably be a plenty of teams out there that's going to have pitchers who are going to either have big contracts or – who are going to be on the tail end of their career, who can help you guys in a playoff push situation. So I say pitching. When it comes to my number two, I would definitely say middle infield. And I'm looking at the available shortstops. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys kick some tires on Trevor Story. I honestly wouldn't be. I don't think he's a superstar player, but I think he's a very good player. And with a team that already has Mike Trout and Shohei Otani in the lineup, I think a Trevor Story would fit that culture pretty well and then after that i would say definitely uh whatever you guys can do to shore up a otani extension would be number three for me so when that comes to if that means trading up then or getting rid of him somehow if that means really showing otani that you guys are committed to winning that needs to be done i feel like if you guys go into you can go into next year without having him extended but at that point i don't know who his uh, representation is but to me, if you're one year away from free agency, you're looking at the, the money you can get. If you're him, I don't know why you would sign at that point because you, you, you're going to be at least you, – you're going to top probably 500 mil easy. 
you know, without even mm-hmm. really trying. So that's why I feel like this season, this off season is very important to try to like really lock him up. So that would be the last priority for you guys, but definitely start with pitching, pitching and then middle infield and then end with Otani for me. <laughs>